silage especially, you go to a bagging system, a lot more efficient, you can clean it up, you don't have any kind of waste and that type thing that you've had before. And in the hay part of it, we've taken existing round balers or the cutter, the rake, and the round baler you already own that you're running in dry hay. Now we've transitioned it a little bit, put a high moisture kit in your baler or whatever the process be, and now we're getting a wrapper and we're putting it all into a haylage system. Instead of dry hay, you're putting it into haylage. And what we do is we more or less, we drop this bale in, shove it through, and it's wrapping plastic on it. And it puts layer upon layer upon layer on top of one another, therefore sealing it up. And between six and eight layers in one given spot is enough plastic to cover it for a year and a half, could even get to two years. Um, as far as uh, cheaping it up, uh, maybe I don't need quite that much plastic. Bad mistake, bad mistake. The more plastic, the better off you are. It's the better insurance policy. As far as setup and things that we do at, at home on a wrapper and all ourselves, we use the end caps, which you can see on the end of this tube right down here. It's just a big trash bag. And we'll use it on the first bale as a general rule. We'll cap that end off so we don't have any air getting into the end of the tube. Everybody says, well, if you, get, if you leave it open, what will it do? As a general rule, you'll get air through the first bale and into the second bale. About the third one, it'll be about sealed off. So my way of thinking is uh, an end cap costs $5. How much is those two bales you just lost? Uh, to me, it's a no-brainer to use end caps. So put the end cap on, set the bale in, and on this machine here, it angles up and it basically it cams over with the wheels, just like say you're raising a disc, a do-all, whatever the situation be. It cams up and those, on those first three bales, it keeps the machine somewhat level because you don't want any air in them. The whole time, water, sugar, no air. So you keep them tight together. Then when you get it, the bales out to the end of the table, you'll sit the machine down, sit it down like this. Then what you're doing is you're pushing force and now you're going to use the ground as your backstop more or less. It gets down on the ground and then you got more weight on the ground than you do on the machine and it moves it forward. So therefore it's pushing and you have all the weight of, say the wrapper weighs 5,500 pounds, you put four bales on that, the weight can weigh up to 2,000 pounds a piece. That's a lot of force being pushed against each one of those bales. So it keeps everything snug and tight. Big thing is water, sugar, no air. Keep them as tight as you can absolutely keep them and put plenty of plastic on it to seal it really good. Um, it's not a magic bag. Junk in is junk out. It doesn't matter how it, how it works. Uh, you know, kill deep feather and broom sage ain't worth the darn. <laughs> Throw it in a ditch. That's all it's good for. And it'll never be anything other than kill deep feathers and broom sage when you put it in here. But if you put in good quality hay, it will be excellent hay when you pull it out.